I'm Maria Sophocles. I'm a gynecologist at Women's Healthcare of Princeton, and uh, my practice specializes in sexual medicine and problems related to menopause. Uh, in November 2014, I developed uh, weakness in my left hand and uh, severe pain radiating from the neck down through my left shoulder and to my fingertips and as a surgeon this had the potential to impact my ability to work. What brought me to Princeton Brain and Spine was that I knew Dr. Mark McLaughlin professionally as a surgeon who adopted progressive ideas and had a reputation for being clinically excellent and spending time with his patients. I uh, immediately called Dr. McLaughlin uh, and had an MRI and he made the diagnosis of a bulge in two discs in my C-spine which he described as massive. It was incredibly painful to operate, to take care of patients and even to do activities around my house. As the condition progressed I developed weakness and that's when Dr. McLaughlin and I felt there really was no longer an opportunity for conservative measures like pain medications or injections and that I really needed to have surgical correction of, of what was going on. Well from the moment I walked into the office at Princeton Brain and Spine there's an atmosphere of excellence, of caring, of attention to detail and of efficiency that reflects on the excellence that the doctors provide clinically. And I found this to be true from front desk staff through to the PAs and even in the billing department. Everyone is competent, they know who you are, they know what procedure you've had, and they know how to get you from step A to B efficiently. Well, the surgery went extremely well. I had complete resolution of my symptoms and I've had none since then, and that was November 2014. The post-operative care uh, was flawless, really. I was very clearly told about what to expect, and the things that were beginning to be difficult for me were first and foremost my ability to treat patients and do surgery, and that's part of how I define myself, so I wasn't ready to use those, and those are completely regained. Um, some of my hobbies, like tennis and gardening, are uh, completely unaffected since I've had the surgery and I continue to be physically active and hope to be for many years. And at Princeton Brain and Spine, they're very uh, clear and definitive about what you have. They really teach you the anatomy, the pros, the cons to having a surgical procedure versus more conservative management. And I think that being educated about what's going on really helps any patient to make a more informed and hopefully timely decision. If I have to sum up Princeton Brain and Spine in three words or phrases, what I think the practice embodies is clinical excellence, is careful planning, and I mean this both in a clinical and an administrative sense, and really compassion. And compassion is not something we should take for granted in medicine. Anymore.